Hi dear students, in this video we are discussing about the one of the most important short answer question in the chapter of system of particles and rotatory motion that is nothing but parallel axis theorem. What is the parallel axis theorem and how we can prove it? The statement of parallel axis theorem should be like this. The moment of inertia of a plane lamina about an axis is equals to the sum of moment of inertia about an axis parallel axis passing through the center of mass and the product of mass of the body and square of the distance between the two axes this is called parallel axis theorem the same statement should be like here there here look you have to observe look here the moment of inertia of plane lamina about an axis is equal to the sum of moment of inertia about a parallel axis passing through the center of mass and product of its mass and square of the distance between two axes. This is called parallel axis theorem that should be given by I is equals to I z plus m r square. So dear friends you can observe here this is the plane lamina what it is it is the plane lamina and here this is the one axis. With respect of this, that axis, the moment of inertia is, for example, I am saying now this is the y. With respect of that axis, here, the moment of inertia is i. And there is one another axis that should be passing through the, as this is the another axis, y dash. Clear. With respect of that axis, the moment of inertia is i z. This is the first axis that should be passing through the center of mass with respect of this axis the moment of inertia is what i z and with respect of this axis what it is moment of inertia i clear now here the moment of inertia the moment of inertia of this plane lamina about the axis y is equals to sum of moment of inertia of plane lamina about the axis passing the center of mass so i and this is i z so and now here the mass of the entire body is r and the distance between these two axes r clear that's what i have to say i is equals to i z plus m into r square so i is equals to i z plus m r square this is the parallel axis theorem the moment of inertia of the plane lamina about one axis is equal to the sum of moment of inertia about the one axis that should be passed through the center of mass and product of mass of the body and square of the distance between these two axes that is what m r square i is equal to i z plus m r square this is called children parallel axis theorem now, now we have to prove the parallel axis theorem for that first you have to clearly understand about the diagram so dear students here at the point p there is one particle it is there that should be having some mass delta m so there is some particle at the position of particle p at the position p what is its mass delta m and this is the first axis and this is the second axis that should be passes through the center of mass so and the next thing is what r is the distance between two axes two parallel axes so children z and z dash are both are how these two are parallel that's why it is known as parallel axis theorem now we have to prove that what you have to prove that i is equals to i z plus m r square so you can take either it is s or g whatever may be it is your choice so this is g then i is equals to i z plus m r square to prove that first we have to know about the formula of moment of inertia what is the moment of inertia moment of inertia formula is i is equals to mass of square of the distance square of the distance i is equals to m r square mass into square of the distance so that is the general formula for moment of inertia we are going to use that 
So children, what is moment of inertia? I is equals to m r square. So like that, by using that here, moment of inertia, moment of inertia of the particle with respect to the z axis, what we write? I is equals to delta m into mass what it is moment of inertia in mass what it is mass into square of the distance mass into square of the distance already what we have taken at the point p what is there particle it is there mass one particle is in the plane lamina so that is what delta m into distance is what op square from this axis to the particle what it is op square so delta m into op square so this is about only moment of inertia about the particle of mass delta m if you can consider the total moment of inertia of the plane lamina the formula is going to be like this sum of summation of delta m into op square so this is the equation number 1 what is equation number 1 children moment of inertia of the plane lamina about the axis z that should be taken as equation number 1 and next thing is similarly we can write moment of inertia of the particle particle then what write with respect of with respect to of z dash z dash axis and that should be passes through the center of mass that should be written as i g is equals to delta m into op square delta m into op square for entire plane lamina this is only for particle if you can consider for total plane lamina we can write i g is equals to summation of delta m into distance is what from z axis to the point b what is the distance g p square so why how you are reading moment of inertia is equals to mass into square of the distance here particle mass is delta m and distance from z axis to the particle is what is gp square so this is now moment of inertia of the plane lamina with respect of second axis that is what gp square equation number 2 clear now we can go for triangle opq what is triangle opq in figure from triangle what is opq opq what do we write according to pythagoras hypotenuse square is equals to side square plus side square here what is the hypotenuse op what do we write op whole square is equals to side square plus side square one side is oq one side is pq so o q all square plus p q square here from figure what you have write o q is nothing but what o g plus g q so o q means what o g plus g q we can write like that now substitute this value in this one what do you get o p all square is equals to o q means what children o g plus g q all square plus p q square here how it is like in the form of a plus b all square what we get a square plus b square plus 2 ab like that substitute here op square is equal to what right og all square plus g a square plus b square g q square plus 2 og gq to oj gq can write like that plus pq square plus pq square now this is equation number 3 children clear dear students what is equation number 3 op square is equals to oj square plus gq square plus 2 oj gq plus pq square you have to remember this equation now look at this diagram children in that again we have take the right angle triangle pqg or right angle triangle gpq or anything whatever may be we are taken 
So again we have to apply the Pythagoras theorem. What is hypotenuse square is equals to side square plus side square. What is here hypotenuse? This is the angle line D and this now so it is a hypotenuse. Then what right? GP all square is equals to GP all square is equals to one side is what PQ PQ square plus and this is what GQ square GQ square so GP square is equals to PQ square plus GQ square clear children this is the equation number four now you have to substitute this equation number four in equation number three substitute equation four in three so what is PQ square plus GQ square here GQ square it is there children this is a GQ square and it is PQ square here PQ square plus GQ square means what GP square so here instead of PQ square plus GQ square what you have to write GP square you have to write so now substitute this equation number 4 in equation number 3 substitute 4 in 3 what do you get OP all square is equal to OG square plus GQ plus PQ square is what? Yes, GP square. GP square plus 2 OG and GQ. Clear. We substituted this value in equation number 3. What we get? OP square is equal to OG square plus GP square plus 2 OG GQ. So now children, for our convenient, we have to multiply the above equation on both sides with delta m delta or summation of delta m so we have to multiply on both sides with delta m summation of delta m into op square is equals to summation of delta m into og square plus gp square plus 2 og gq plus 2 og gq so you have to multiply that summation of delta m into op square delta m into op square is equal to sum of delta m og square plus here delta m into gp square delta m into gp square plus sum of delta m into 2 OG GQ. So, dear students, in this one, in this equation, here we will take sum of Mi Xi is equal to 0. Moments of masses, moments of masses are equal to 0. According to the properties of center of mass, the algebraic sum of the moments of masses equals to 0. That's why this term equals to 0. We can neglect that. Then what we get? Delta m into op square is equals to sum of delta m into og square plus sum of delta m into gp square. Dear students, already we discussed what it is. Look at the equation number one. What do you have? I is equals to delta m into op square. I is equals to delta m into op square. That's why here, instead of this what you have to write? I is equals to delta m into og square delta m into og value is what children r what is right s so here nothing but delta m that is nothing but mass of the body or plane lamina og means what r square here delta m is the mass of one particle sum of the all the particle masses is nothing but what it is mass of the mass of the entire body that's what right m r square og value is r and and what it is summation of delta m into gp square what it is i z what it is i z therefore what did we prove this is the now i is equals to i z plus m r square or i is equals to i z plus m r square so i is what moment of inertia of the plane lamina with respect of z axis that is equals to product of 
mass mass into square of distance that is what m into r square plus moment of inertia of the plane lamina about the axis that is passes through the center of mass of the body or lamina that is what i z therefore i is equals to i z plus m r square this is nothing but children parallel axis theorem so in this way we can prove that parallel axis theorem the most important and very easiest to get the four marks in the public examinations if you can understand this one like share comment the video and my request is suggest our channel to your friends also okay thank you for watching